Good morning, everybody, and welcome back. Um, or maybe welcome for the first time. If you are new here, I'm Taylor, and I work on a dairy farm in Central Maine. Um, and if you like these videos, don't forget to like and subscribe. And hit that notification bell so you know when new videos are being posted. Um, but anyway, um, today we are going to be cleaning off the pad where the cows go out back because it is very dirty and it's been raining a lot lately so we're worried that they might slip and it's just a whole thing. So how we clean it off is Brent is going to get the, you can probably hear him right now, he's putting the bucket on the Kubota because um, we did have the grabbers on there. Um, Brent's going to take this skid steer, Brent's my boss too if you're new here. Um, he's going to take the skid steer and he's going to clean up the pad, just put it in a pile and then he's going to push it in my bucket and I'm going to take it and dump it in the manure pit. So he's back now, so we're going to get right into that. And usually I give Brent like a few minutes just to push up a little bit of the crap so he gets a good pile going before I get out there um, because I can take a lot of crap with the size of the Kubota bucket. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen it, it's pretty large. Um, you can see it right there. I don't know if it's like, I would say it's a seven, eight foot bucket, I guess. Um, it's actually meant for like a payloader. Not supposed to be on a track of this size, but um, we've used it for years and years and it seems to work just fine. So let's get out there and clean that pad off. Probably shouldn't hit any cars today. Like I said, 
go to pick it right up when you pick it up. The uh, joystick handle on the Kubota is kind of funky, so I think we probably need a new cable or something. It likes to curl the bucket up, but it doesn't like to curl it out. So something's funky. looks like all clean except for that because we had to leave that because it didn't quite fit in a bucket got the cows mineral blocks over there see the cows out there grazing you can also see how much the leaves are changing color over there in the swamp um, so that's sad because it seems like summer just started but um, so yeah that's the pad freestyle top of the barn very interesting stuff that's a water tank we used to be an old milk tank but now it's a water tank um, and we have a gate so we can shut the cows out of uh, the pasture so they can just stay on the pad and go in the freestyle. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I close this gate. You can see all the weeds over here now. Um, we don't really come back here that often just because the pad doesn't really need to be cleaned off that much. Um, so we don't really do it that often because the only reason it would need to be cleaned off is because we feed the cows on it and we don't do that very often. We only do it when we have a bad hay bale that we really don't want to feed inside. Um, we feed it out on the pad and they'll just pick at it and leave some. So that's why it's mostly hay. Haha, <laughs> I didn't electrocute myself. Um, so yeah, we do have to look at this tire because like I told you guys, it was leaking. Um, we added some more oil, but we do need to fix it at some point. Um, it's not really leaking right now, but... Um, so this is the bucket. It's mostly hay. It's very heavy for the Kubota. Um, extremely so. Um, but it works. So that bucket really probably shouldn't be on the tractor. But it's what we have. So we work with what we have. And yeah. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I um, hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's kind of boring. But that's the daily life of a farmer. So, um, But thank you guys so much. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye guys.